Until recently, the idea of flying cars remained a fantasy, popularized in literary or cinematic fiction. Inventors and startups from all over the world had to look to the sky to offer any meaningful solution to traffic congestion problems. However, most cities lack the necessary space to accommodate vehicles that require runways, such as planes and jets. Innovations in vertical takeoff and landing were needed for small flying machines to be practical and maneuverable. Nowadays, electric vertical takeoff and landing technologies, or EV tolls, are becoming a big part of the future of aerospace mobility. The most noticeable benefit of these types of aircraft is the low operating cost, as they are considerably less expensive to buy, fuel and maintain than conventional aircraft. In this video, I'm sharing my list of the best personal flying machines currently in development, including some of their technical specs and features. These are EV tolls that can accommodate only one pilot or passenger, and are still in prototype stages. Watch until the end to see the most amazing aircraft on this list. This is Aviation Federation, sharing with you exciting information about the latest and greatest in aviation and beyond. I'm starting at number 5 with the Hover Scorpion. This is a single-passenger, low-altitude quadcopter hoverbike that began as a crowdfunding project. The Scorpion has a top speed of 69 km per hour, or about 43 miles per hour, a maximum altitude of 4.6 meters, or 15 feet, and a maximum range of 21 km, or roughly 13 miles. Depending on the payload, the flight time will range from 15 to 40 minutes. It is equipped with LiDAR sensors, which allows the pilot to set an altitude limit and have the onboard computers maintain it. This hoverbike has several safety features. If one of the propellers fails, the other propellers compensate and hold the aircraft horizontally, allowing the hoverbike to land safely. The hoverbike will also automatically land if the batteries are about to lose their power. For safety reasons, the aircraft can only fly at a low altitude, although it could fly as high as 300 meters if it didn't have altitude-restricting features. The Scorpion software controls also have a speed limit, ensuring that the aircraft does not go too fast. At number 4 is the Dragonair Airboard 2. A product of the Go Fly competition, the Airboard 2 is a one-person electric vertical takeoff and landing hoverbike. It is a modern, lightweight, compact carbon fiber aircraft with four pairs of coaxial motors, spinning 40-inch propellers. The pilot, like on the Airboard 1, stands and uses two big ski pole controls. The aircraft has no cockpit yet, but is very simple to fly. Several manned test flights have already taken place, with some of the flights reaching heights of several hundred feet for about a minute. This aircraft can reach a maximum speed of 63 miles per hour, or about 100 kilometers per hour, with a maximum range of 40 miles, or 65 kilometers. The Dragonair team has confirmed that their eVTOL aircraft will most likely be sold first as a personal flyer for recreational use, but they believe that the aircraft's applications will easily extend to include agriculture, search and rescue operations, and more. At number 3 is the Jetson 1. The Jetson prototype, which served as a proof of concept, was created in the fall of 2017 and completed in the spring of 2018. It can reach a maximum speed of 63 miles per hour, or a little over 100 kilometers per hour, 
and has a maximum range of 60 miles or 97 kilometers. The first crewed flight took place in Italy, followed by additional crewed flights in Poland. The aircraft's fuselage is in the shape of an H, with propellers and electric motors on each corner. This means that a single electric motor failure does not necessarily result in a disaster. The aircraft has complete propulsion redundancy, a triple redundant flight computer, a ballistic parachute, a safety cell chassis, crumble areas, LIDAR-aided obstacle and terrain avoidance, hands-free hover, emergency hold functions, propeller guards, and a composite seat with a harness. According to the Jetson website, a complete aircraft costs US$59,000 and is delivered as a partially assembled kit for home completion. Everything is included in the kit, from the aluminum space frame to the motor controls, propellers, engines, and detailed building instructions. At number 2 is the Opener Blackfly V1. This is the second prototype in the Blackfly series, after the Rebel, and before the Blackfly V2 and V3. The first flight of the Blackfly V1 marked a watershed moment for the company, which changed its name to Opener and moved to Palo Alto, California, as it continued to seek additional funding to further develop this proof of concept. The V1 varies from its predecessor in many respects. Unlike the Rebel, it was not originally intended as a passenger aircraft. However, it is 5 feet wider and 2 feet longer than the Rebel. It also weighs 74 pounds more than the Rebel and has a larger payload capacity. The Blackfly can be disassembled and transported in a small truck, and it can be assembled and flown in 30 minutes, with a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour or 99 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 60 miles or 96 kilometers. It has supercharging capabilities, which enables it to reach up to 80% in 25 minutes, and it has takeoff and landing assistance technologies. Finally, at number one is the Airbus Vahana. Deriving inspiration from the Sanskrit word Vahana, which literally means vehicle, this is an electric-powered personal air vehicle prototype with eight propellers. Developed under the Airbus Urban Mobility Project in Silicon Valley, it was envisioned as an everyday commuter vehicle that can replace cars or trains in urban transportation. This aircraft can accommodate a total payload weight of 200 pounds or about 90 kilograms. It has an impressive maximum speed of 120 miles per hour or about 200 kilometers per hour, but has a short maximum range of just 31 miles or 50 kilometers. It was also developed to incorporate autonomous navigation via a LiDAR system, together with additional cameras and radar. The Vahana has successfully demonstrated the superior long-range capabilities of a tilt-wing configuration. This idea is now finding its way into more eVTOL concepts because of the obvious advantages, such as reduced noise and enhanced safety. With over 130 test flights done and over 900 kilometers of distance covered in flight, however, this concept was discontinued in favor of the much larger City Airbus model. Are you excited about the future of EV tolls? What do you think of these personal flying machines, and how will you benefit from using them? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments section below. 
If you want more exciting aviation content, check out my other videos. Thank you for watching and fly safe.